Hello students, my name is Fikru Marga. Today I'm going to teach physics grade 10 from where we stop in first semester. You know that we stop in first semester in chapter 4, that is electromagnetism. So under this electromagnetism, we finish about magnet, Erdi's magnet, and today we are going to look about magnetic field of solenoid. Let us summarize some points concerning about magnets. Magnet has two poles. The two poles of magnet are the north pole and the south pole. Between two poles of magnet, there is force, either force of attraction and a force of repulsion. And if the two poles of magnets are opposite, there is a force of attraction. And if the two poles of magnets are similar, there is force of repulsion. This is what we learn in first semester. Today we are going to look about magnetic field of solenoids. Magnetic field of solenoids. So let us see about magnetic field of solenoid. Before starting this magnetic field of solenoid, what is solenoid? What is solenoid? Solenoid is a coil which have a number of loops. Solenoid is the coil which has number of loops, loops. Or we can say that solenoid is the number of turns of the wire. of turnings of the wire, turnings of the wire. For example, this is what we call a solenoid because it has many turnings of loops or because it has a loops. So to determine the direction of magnetic field for solenoid, we use the right hand rule. So why we use the right hand rule, we use this symbol to know the direction of the current into the paper means the direction of of the current into the paper and z is direction of current is out of the paper out of the paper. So by using this symbol, we can show the direction of magnetic field used knowing by the direction of the current. Now, let us see this direction by drawing the diagram of these loops. So for example, if Z is, we say Z is the current into the page or the paper, so to know the direction of this loop, we use our right hand rule pointing my thumb is the direction of the current. My finger shows the direction of the magnetic field. So while I point this, my finger towards this board or the paper, the direction of the field is looks like this one. This is the direction of the field due to the current into the paper. And for example, if I take this one, out of the paper, if I make, I use the, my right hand rule, the direction of this current e, of magnetic field is to this direction, to this direction. Z is to this direction and Z is to this direction. Z is by using our right hand rule. So the magnetic field inside this coil is looks like this one. Z is how to determine the direction of magnetic field using our right hand rule. So how we can determine the direction of the poles of this magnet? And also possible to determine the direction of the poles of magnet by using our right hand rule, pointing our finger toward the direction of the current, my thumb will show the direction of the poles. For example, if I point my finger toward this current, my finger thumb will show the direction of the north pole of the magnet. Z is the north pole of the magnet. The north pole of the magnet is, is start from this point and the south pole ends at this point because this show using by our right hand rule 
my finger shows the direction of the poles and my thumb shows the direction of the poles my finger shows the direction of the current z is to determine only for the direction of the poles but to determine the direction of the current our thumb shows the direction of the current our finger shows the direction of magnetic field z is how to determine the direction of the poles on current carrying loop and second we are going to look about the strength of magnetic field of solenoid the strength of magnetic field of solenoid magnetic field of solenoid represented by this symbol so the strength of magnetic field of solenoid is depends on some factors the first one is the number of turns of the coil the number of turns of the coil the number of turns of the coil per meter per meter this is one factor that can affect the magnetic field of solenoid and the second one is the current that passing through the wire the current through the wire through the wire the third one is the permeability of free space the third one is permeability of free space free space z is a factor or the factor that magnetic field is dependent on this what then the strength of magnetic field of solenoid depend on three quantities do you know this one one the number of turns of the wire that means per meter it is measured by per meter and the next one is the current that passing through the wire and the third one is the permeability of free space that is represented by the symbol this one mu and do you know that the permeability of free space so this permeability of free space depends on magnetization of the material that respond on the applied magnetic field therefore this symbol is the magnetization of material in response to in response to the applied magnetic field the applied magnetic field so it is values represented by it is values equal to 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 henry per meter therefore as you know we are going to find the magnitude of this magnetic field of solenoid you know that magnetic field is a vector quantity do you remember the, uh, my student you learn this word therefore mathematically we are going to express this quantity with relation this magnetic field strengths with re relation to this magnetic field strengths so mathematically when we express this mathematically mathematically magnetic field strengths strengths that is represented by this symbol which is equal to permittivity of free space times number of turns of the wire times current that passing through the wire then where z is permittivity free space and n is the number of turns of the wire 
of thoroughness of the wire. OK, my student. And eyes represent what? Eyes represent the current passing through the wire. The wire. Do you know that the unit of this current? Do you know? Yes, if the unit is, this S unit is ampere. Ampere. This is present by A. So, magnetic field strength is equal to, we say that, magnetic field strength is equal to primitivity free space times number of turns of the wire times the current passing through the wire. Okay, my student, if you know this one, can you calculate the equation concerning this formula? If so, okay, let us give one example concerning this calculation. So example, example, because you learn about the unit of, the unit of magnetic field is Tasella, then we are going to calculate example concerning concerning this formula let us see example concerning the magnetic field of solenoid so n is what the number of n divided by the length number of turns divided by the length of the wire therefore example has a solenoid has 1000 turns per meter and and a car has a current of has a current of two ampere passing through the wire through the wire. Work out the field strength is if the primitive of free space is. 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 is given. Work out the field strength is if primitivity of free space equal to 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter. A student, come on. This is given for you. Can you try this equation? If so, let us do together. Let us do together. OK, to do this equation, first you should have to know what is given. First you should have to know what is given. What is given? Can you tell me, my student? Yes, OK. Now, the first one is current is given, that is 2 ampere. And the next one is permeability of free space is given, that is represented by this 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter. And the third quantity given for us is number of turns of the wire, n is equal to 1000 turns. 1,000 turns. So what is required? Who can tell me? What is required? What is required? OK, the required one is what? The required one is magnetic field of the solenoid is how much? We don't know the value of the magnetic field of the solenoid. So can you try this equation, my student? Excellent. Then solution, solution. Magnetic field of solenoid is equal to permittivity of free space times number of turns of the wire times the current passing through the wire. This is what we have seen. This is what we have seen. Then substituting this equation in this formula, we can solve the value of magnetic field of strength. Therefore, magnetic field is equal to our primitivity of free space is 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter, ah, who can tell me the number of turns of the wire? Number of turns of the wire is given, that is 1,000 turns, and the other is 
the current that is 2 ampere. 2 ampere. So, writing this in scientific notation is the easy way to solve this equation. So, field strength is equal to 4 pi times 2 ampere times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter. When we write 1000 in scientific notation, then D is 1 times, 1 times 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 3. Therefore, therefore, taking the base, the, since the base or the base is common, we take one base, we add the exponent. Therefore, magnetic field is equal to 4 times Z is 8 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 plus 3. Because Z is minus, Z is 3, you know the unit of magnetic field is what? Tesla. Therefore, T. Then, which is equal to? Magnetic field strength is equal to? Then, Z is, is equal to about uh, 8 pi times 10 to the power of minus 4. Tesla is is the value of magnetic field of strength. My student, can you get this answer doing it by yourself? If so, that is excellent. That is excellent. So, if you know what is given and what is required, it is easy to solve the value of the required one. Unless otherwise, it is difficult to solve without knowing what is given and without knowing what is required. So what I advise you, my student, when the equation is given for you, first you should have to recognize or differentiate what is given. Then according to this equation, the given is this one. And the second one is, you should have to know or differentiate what is required. If you know the required, you write this formula, the required one is magnetic field strength of solenoid. And there is a solution. To do the solution, you should have to know the formula. You should have to know the formula. This formula is given by primitivity of free space times the number of turns of the wire times the current. We have all the value. Then finally, we get magnetic field strength is this much. OK, my student, is it clear for you? OK, if so, that is good. That is good. Okay, let us add one e equation in addition to this problem. Let us add one question. Okay, let's see ex second example. Example two. Find the magnetic field strength Find the magnetic field strength at the center of solenoid. Solenoid with 5,000 turns. Turns per meter. Per meter and the current of 5 ampere of 5 ampere the primitivity of free space is of free space is 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter. This equation given for you, my student. Can you solve this problem by yourself? Try by yourself. Try. Is there a student who can do this one? If so, very good. Let us do it with together. Now, first, as I say that, we should have to determine what is given. We should have to determine what is given. So, given. It is a find the magnetic field of strength or at the center of solenoid with 5,000 turns per meter and the current of 5 ampere. The primitivity of free space 
is 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7. So the first one is the number of turns of the wire is given. That is 5,000 turns. 5,000 turns. And the second one is the current that is passing through this coil. That is 5 ampere. And the primitive of free space is given. That is 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter. My student, the given one is this one. From this equation, we get the given is this one. What is required? The next step. What's required one is what? My student, can you tell me the required one? Can you tell me? The required one is magnetic field of the synonoid. We don't know how much. We don't know the value of this magnetic field. Is the but we know only the given. Solution. Solution. So to find this magnetic field strength of synonoid, we have the formula. Do you remember that? What you learn? The formula that help us to find the magnetic field of synonoid. This formula is magnetic field of synonoid is equal to. Okay, who can tell me? Permittivity of free space. Okay, times number of turns of the wire, times current. This is the formula that help us to find the value of magnetic field of solenoid. Okay, come on with me, my students. Let us solve it together and substitute the equation or the, value, the given value in the given formula. Then, magnetic field strength is equal to primitivity of free space 4 pi is given times 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter is given. Next, what is the number of turns of the wire? The number of turns of the wire is given that is 5. Thousand times how much current is given? It is five ampere. Okay, my student. This is how to solve the value of magnetic field of the solenoid. Let us multiply this number with each other. It is easy to find. Therefore, this is magnetic by solving this one. Magnetic field of solenoid is equal to ten. By multiplying this is 25, 20 times 100, 10 times 10 pi times 10 to the power of minus 2 tesla. Because the unit of magnetic field is, you know, tesla. Therefore, finally, putting this in the similar notation, magnetic field strength is equal to 0 0.01 pi tesla is the value of magnetic field A for this equation. Okay, my student, is it clear for you? Is it clear for you? Let us again try again one for you to, for clarity. Okay, this is a given for you and the value of given this much. And the formula is this one. Therefore, substituting the, equa the, the equation in the value of this formula, we get the magnetic field of solenoid. Okay, my student, let us summarize what we learned today. You know that we start to learn about magnetic field of solenoid. The magnetic field of solenoid means the coil which has a number of loops. This is one point what you learn. And second one is we determine the direction of magnetic field for solenoid by using our right hand rule. While we use our right hand rule to show the direction of the field, our thumb shows the direction of the current, our finger is in circle uh, uh, the direction of magnetic field. Okay, my student, can you tell me how we can determine the force of magnets? What I tell now you is to know the direction of magnetic field. But the second one is we learn about how to determine the direction of magnetic force. Can you try by using your right hand rule? I give one minute for you. Try by yourself.
discuss with your parent and uh, do problems more. Therefore, if so, while we show the direction of magnetic force of magnet, our finger shows the direction of the current, our thumb shows the direction of the force of magnets. If we know the one force of magnet, it is easy to know the, the other force of magnet because it cannot, the force of magnet cannot exist by alone. Therefore, the north, if we get the north pole, we know the south pole because a, a force of magnet cannot exist by alone. If a piece of if you have a piece of magnet, we should have two, two force of magnet. It is impossible to get a single force of magnet. This is what you learn. And the next one is, we learned today about magnetic field strength of solenoid. Therefore, magnetic field strength of solenoid is depend on some factor. Can you tell me this factor that affects the magnetic field of the solenoid? My student, I give one minute for you. Try by yourself. The factor that affecting the magnetic field of solenoid is one is the number of turns of the wire. The next one is the permittivity of free space. The third one is the current passing through the wire. This is what we learn in under magnetic field strength of solenoid. But one thing you should have to know that what is permittivity of free space? I said this before because permittivity of free space means the magnetization of the material that responds with applied magnetic field. If magnetic field is applied on some material, that material should be magnetization, magnetized. This is what we learn today. And under this, we solve the problem concerning the formula. Mathematically, we know magnetic field strength is equal to permittivity of free space times number of turns of the wire times the current, when we express by formula, magnetic field is equal to permittivity of free space times number of turns of the wire times what current, where n is n over L. This capital L is the number of loops divided by the length of the wire. We get this small n. Always, this is given by uh, n over L length. Therefore, by using this formula, we do two problems concerning this one. The first one is how to solve the magnetic field of solenoid. The current is given, the permittivity of free space is given, and the number of turns of the wire is also given. This is the finally how to calculate. And the second formula is, or the second equation is this one, find the magnetic strength at the center of solenoid. Because at the center of the solenoid, the magnetic field is strong and uh, uniform. Therefore, this is given. And we have required one is magnetic field, and then we solve. A student, finally, I devise one thing. That is, while the problem is given for you, you should have to know what is given. This is the first step to do calculation. And the next one is to know what is required. If you know these two things, it is easy to solve any problem. Therefore, finally, you reach at the solution by your knowing the formula. This is what we learn today of lesson. If you have question concerning this one, my student, you can ask me. Today, we learn all these things. Next grade, we continue about magnetic force. We start this next week until then by my students.